Welcome back everyone to another episode of Vegetarian Cooking with JJ. Today I'm going to make some crepe as a part of our French theme for the week. Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va bien? Et tu? Tu et vous? That's what Shimmy says. Et vous, unless you're in Quebec. Unless you're in Quebec. <laughs> unless you're in Quebec. Say that, that's mean. <laughs> So we're going to add one cup of flour, one teaspoon of cornstarch, another teaspoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of raw sugar, and another teaspoon of raw sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt. And we'll simply just whisk this together just so it's evenly incorporated. So one tablespoon of oil, neutral based oil, and one teaspoon. Two third a cup of our veggie milk. wasn't a happy ending. A two-third cup of our carbonated water. That will make the texture more fluffy. So we're just going to mix everything together. That looks good enough. We'll just get our pan heated. So we got our earth balance here. We got our earth balance. We're gonna put some on our pan. Let it melt. We're gonna put the crepe batter. I'm gonna put a crepe batter and Jimmy's gonna move around the pan. What? <laughs> no? No, you're good. Okay. It's a little oddly shaped, that one. <laughs> what? There's a creep pan down below. I know. Well, that one, it had a little bit of rust on it. Yeah. There's a way to get rid of it. It's still just all the grease. Oh, well, that one turned out a little bit thicker. Yeah. So I'm just going to pour some Grim Marnier to get it ready for our flambe. Just a little bit. Here we go. We have our trusty assistant, Shimmy. Hi, audience. <laughs> Did you eat? What? You want to eat one? Eat one? It's yeah. not even. It's not even brown. It has a little bit brown, right? That's why I like cast iron. But no, it's fine. Except. Well, we're gonna flambe it too. Okay. I don't 
don't want the fun later. What, you're afraid of getting drunk? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want the plain bait one? No. Why are you afraid? Yeah, wake up early. You know what's up? You might go to five. Mm. Well, what about maple syrup? No. Cinnamon? No, just have it. Just plain? Yeah. Okay. I just want some fire man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you. here for the fire. <laughs> I'll be your fire man. Did you even have to put it out or what? <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one or am I eating this one? You don't want? No. So this one will be yours. Because you. you're so anxious. Yeah. Thanks. I'll leave it off camera. So here we go. Crate number two. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have done it before. I'm under the pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Where did that bloody thing go? The blue thing. I'm not sure. Well, it's not on the floor, I know that much. I don't know where you put it, it's weird. I had it on the plate there. I'm gonna pop. <laughs> Do you think it's ready enough? Uh, maybe. It was Let's the bottom of that look. side. Yeah. It's Alright. I'm gonna switch hands if anyone wants to look up. No, mama! <laughs> <laughs> I have to uh, open the door. I'll put some maple syrup on. Ready. Don't burn the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I made some crepe for the breaking of the fast for after Yom Kippur. These ones turned out a lot more visually appealing.
And because I did the pan flip, I just had to include this. I just love this Betty Crocker bowl because it has a spout. So convenient to pour the crepe batter on the pan. So I'm just gonna give it a taste test for everyone. I love the flambe gramonye. <laughs> if you're gonna flambe at home, be careful. If you've never done it before, you may just wanna have someone with you. <laughs> and bon appetit, and see you next time.